I decided to be a lawyer when I was 10. I love reading, I love writing, I love solving problems, and I love people. Like, I love helping people. Kirsten was fearless about, I have a law degree and I'm here to help, and her level of generosity has been incredible. Kirsten's leadership in philanthropy has spanned her entire career. Here in Washington County and across the state have resulted in real direct impact on ordinary citizens in the most extraordinary and powerful ways. One of my favorite cases was a woman and she was living with her son who was 20 and mentally ill. I got connected with her through Law Advocates and I contacted her employer and I said, you know, you've been underpaying her, this is how much money she's earned, and he actually wrote the check. That took me five hours of time. I get it that when somebody gives money to civil legal aid, they're paying for all of the administrative support of this system, but I would never have found that client without that system. Kirsten absolutely uses whatever platform she has to advance the interest to give money, to inspire others to give money, and she does not ask anybody to do what she is not willing to do herself. When I come and talk to somebody, they like have their hands on their wallets because they think I'm gonna be asking for money. And they're probably right. One of the things that is incredible about Kirsten are all the many ways and the many communities that she touches and the work that she's done over the years. Whether it's from the arts community, to school communities, to civic service, to certainly access to justice, number of committees for the State Bar Association. If there's a place that Kirsten feels that she can be effective, she will show up and do the work. Service work is where the juice is. I think it's where the meaning is. I think it's where the backbone is. I think it's the green vegetables, the super nutrients. I think it's the magic, it's the sparkly fairy dust. And I really want everybody to have that. I feel like if everybody could feel the way that feels so deeply, like our, it would be transformational in our world. What makes Kirsten such a powerful force? She sees misunderstandings between people, failures in communication, and can just bring them all together. So even when I'm giving advice to a client, it is informed by all of the work that I have done over here that has been unpaid work. And I think, frankly, it serves my clients. During my time at Gonzaga Law School, any young lawyer that I ever had moving to Whatcom County, Kirsten always made time to have coffee with them, welcome them, and those young lawyers would tell me for years to come what a difference she made and how much she would stay connected with them, help them get involved in volunteer service, letting them know how important they were to contributing to this community. She has her own podcast, Trina and Kirsten Get to Work, and is focused on empowering women. I'd like to thank my amazing team at Baron Quinn Blackwood, Sally Quinn, Carrie Blackwood, and of course the fabulous Debbie Nelson, and my whole Access to Justice team and community, and my amazing family who've been so supportive. Thank you.